Good morning. Welcome to Optimal Frequency. I'm Grant. I talk to spirits here at my house using sources of white noise, like the kitchen faucet. I then remove the sound of that kitchen faucet and the running water by using an artificial intelligence, and that leaves behind the spirit voices. I'm getting amazing responses. So the last couple of videos, um, I've had some prophetic messages. Uh, talked about seeing the future, a little bit of Nostradamus, and a few messages on Joe Biden. So today, I'm sitting here trying to pick a topic that I want to do. I've got my list of mysteries. I've got a whole nother list of mysteries I've started here. And then I came across one I was just reading on the internet, uh, doing some research. And of course, I've heard this one before, and that was The Mysterious Drowning of Natalie Wood. So I believe this was 1981. Uh, so I would have been five years old at the time. So not really familiar with her. I've probably seen some of the movies that she's in whatnot. But as I was reading through this, there goes the shivers. Man, it's I wish I could show you on the screen. It's true. When I, I've been getting this so much lately, like a confirmation. Anyways, when I was reading that story, there was something that caught my eye and it made it known to me that, yes, this is the one I'm supposed to do. And it had to do with prophecy. She knew and her mother knew how she was going to die long before she ever died that way. Look at there, the first snow of the year, the first snow I've seen. I'm just coming up to get a drink of water from doing some editing, and uh, yeah, I wonder how much this will accumulate overnight. So I am pushing on, this is all one day. <laughs> I finished editing the whole first part this morning. It's like uh, 10 after one in the afternoon, and uh, I'm gonna push on. I don't normally do the session the same day, uh, but I'm going to do that. I'm feeling really excited and I figure there's only one way to do this and that is to talk to Natalie Wood herself. So I said my prayer down there. I'm really trying to reach, you know, really trying to connect with her, trying to contact her. I hope she comes through, answers these questions. I've got two full pages I just wrote up of questions here. So I'm going to do the usual here and uh, let's see if we can find out exactly what happened that night. If this was an accident, if it wasn't, let's jump into this. I got the, the kettle fountain on the left, sugar bowl on the right, as usual. Okay, guys, so this is the most amazing thing to me. I've called my wife down here three times already. I'm like, listen to this. <laughs> so, I mean, I just started at the sink. As soon as I turned the tap on, they're like, they mumbled something. And then I said, that's up to Natalie. Like, they said her name immediately. Natalie Wood, right? This session is on Natalie Wood. Then... This guy says, you can hear this guy's distinct voice. Something about he has a question. He's like a whisper. Blah, 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 blah. Like they're prepping to do this session with me or whatever. He asks them a question about which question to choose or something. And then the second guy says, Natalie will. And then you hear the first guy's voice again go, okay. And I'm going to fill them right now with water. New spirits bring Natalie through so that she can have a conversation with me, please. I'd really appreciate that if she could do that. Natalie, I hope 
you've come through and you want to speak with me and my team and answer some questions about uh, when you drowned back in 1981. On November 29th, 1981, around 7.30 a.m., actress Natalie Wood's body was found floating face down in the Pacific Ocean about 200 yards away from Catalina Island's Blue Cavern Point. She was wearing only a flannel nightgown, blue wool socks, and a red down jacket. Natalie Wood was one of Hollywood's biggest stars up until the time of her death, with roles that included Miracle on 34th Street and West Side Story. Eerily, Natalie Wood's mother had given the fear of dark water to her daughter because a fortune teller had prophesied that she would die of drowning. As a child, it was reported that her fear of water was so great that she was even afraid to wash her hair and had reoccurring nightmares about drowning. Natalie, if it's true that your death was prophesized by a fortune teller and you were afraid of this prophecy, why did you ever start to go out on the water? Do you regret going out on the water and having that as part of your lifestyle? Do you regret the life you lived as Natalie Wood? Could you have made different choices that would have changed your future and altered the way in which you ultimately died? Or was there no getting around it and that's it, fate was fate and you were destined to drown? Was your death an accident? This is day two of editing this, so yes, different shirt. Did you hear the conviction in that response? I mean, that's pretty plain. She was almost, I don't want to say angry, because I don't think she, maybe she was, I don't know. She says I was murdered. And I'm sitting here getting wave like this has been going on for minutes now. Waves and waves of goose pimples when I hear that. I seriously, if I didn't think her sister would think I was right bonkers, once I'm done with this, because I don't even know if she's going to tell us who did it, but I think we know who did it. <laughs> I don't want to jump to conclusions. Let's see what she has to say. She's talking to me. There's no doubt. She's re answering in the first person. I think when she said the comment about the guy in the lifeboat said it was terrible, I think that must have been one of the uh, searchers the next day. He must have pulled up to her body and went, oh, this is terrible, right? I mean, this is... She's going back. She's telling us a story. Were you murdered that night? <laughs> If so, who murdered you? Wood had been working on the film Brainstorm at the time, along with actor Christopher Walken, and he was invited to join her and her husband, Robert Wagner, on their yacht named The Splendor. 
According to the captain and family friend Dennis Davern, Wood had become infatuated with Walken during the filming and Wagner had flown to the movie set to make sure he wasn't making a fool of himself over this. The group left on the boat around 12 in the afternoon on November 27th. Everyone on the boat, including the captain, had been drinking for much of the weekend. On that Friday night, Wood and Wagner had argued to the point where Davern became concerned and asked Walken to get involved. Walken refused to intervene and is quoted saying, Never get involved in an argument between a man and his wife. Davern ended up taking Wood to shore that night using the ship's dinghy, the Prince Valiant, and they slept at a hotel in Avalon. The next morning they returned to the yacht and Wood agreed to spend the rest of the weekend on board. Were you and Christopher Walken lovers? Did you and your husband fight over Christopher Walken? I want to know what you think. What your feelings are, Natalie, on Captain Dennis Davern. That afternoon, Wood and Walken went to shore to begin drinking at Doug's Harbor Reef and Saloon. They had much to drink, and their waitress reported Wood not eating much of her dinner and stumbling out of the restaurant when they were done. Walken and Wood boarded the dinghy and went back to the yacht around 10 p.m. A witness from the Harbor Patrol said they heard Wood scream about something, but they brushed it off because she was intoxicated. Witnesses from a nearby boat claimed that they heard shouts around midnight. However, there was a party going on nearby, so they thought it was from the party and didn't intervene. One of the witnesses, John Payne, said he heard a woman scream, Help me! Someone help me! coming from the stern of the Splendor, and potentially from a dinghy. He then thought he heard a man's voice say, Okay, honey, we'll get you. But the tone was so mocking, which is why he thought the cries were associated with the party. Did you and Walken go to shore to make love that afternoon? Why did you get so drunk and then go back onto the water? What are your feelings on Christopher Walken? Is Christopher Walken a good guy? Did Christopher have anything to do with your death? Did your husband Robert have anything to do with your death? Witnesses heard you scream for help, and then they heard a man's voice. What did the man say to you? Who was the man that the witnesses heard? According to Wagner, there was a non-violent argument that broke out between him and Walken over politics. Wood wasn't involved and quickly became bored and assumedly went to bed. However, Wagner didn't realize she was missing until he went to go kiss her goodnight around 1.30. 
The Coast Guard was alerted and Wood was found floating six hours later about a mile away from the yacht with the dinghy not too far from her. Los Angeles County Coroner Thomas Noguchi ruled the case of her death to be accidental drowning and hypothermia. According to Noguchi, Wood had been drinking and she may have slipped while trying to reboard the dinghy. Wood's sister Lana expressed doubts, alleging that Wood could not swim and had been terrified of water all of her life and that she would never have left the yacht on her own by dinghy. To this day, her death remains a mystery. Did you slip and fall in the water by accident? Did your husband Robert murder you? That's some awful bright, awful bright light coming through the clouds there. On that note, I'll thank you for coming through. Thank you for answering my questions. I'm going to analyze this and see if I can get your answers. So, love, peace, joy, and adventure to you, Natalie, and to the Spirit Team. I feel like I'm getting your light. I'm sending out light to you guys. Are you sending me light? Alright, we'll catch all you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching everyone. What do I have in the sink for supper? <laughs> Just in case they answered me, I'll show you. So, took out a ham. Wood had been working on the film Brainstorm at the time, along with actor Actifer. Actifer. Wood had been working on the film Brainstorm. I don't like it. Grr. Wood had been working on the film Brainstorm at the time, along with actor Christopher. I almost did it again. Actifer. Jeez, <laughs> take 47. Testing. Wood had been working on the film Brainstorm at the time along with actor Walk... Oh, man. <laughs> Christopher Walken.